Hey, I'm back talking about the how to move your career into film and TV and quit your day job in the next 12 months make, and make your living as a full-time artist. I know it's a long title, but that's what y'all wrote me and said you wanted to do. <laughs> so that's the class that I've created. And if you didn't see the last video, this is a, a three video series in which I will be giving you tips about how to do that in preparation for the class that hasn't been announced yet, but will, so stay tuned. Um, and stay tuned because there will be discounts on the class if you register early. So finish watching these videos and you'll learn how to do that, right? Get those freebies. All right. So last time we talked about getting to that fuck this moment because getting to the fuck this moment means you are ready for transformation. It means you are ready to focus and do the hard work required to move your career into film and TV. And it means a transformation. And transformation means you get to the point where everything you've been doing is not working and you're ready to do something else and get it done by any means necessary. It means you're way past complaining. It means you're way past, I don't know what I wanna do. It means you're way past doing 16 different things at once, right? It means you're focused on moving into film and TV and you're doing one small thing to get you there each day, right? I'm going to teach you a focus trick. Works nine times out of ten. Over and over again, over and over and over again, people said to me in the surveys that they want to be working regularly in TV and film. They want to build relationships with casting directors. They want to quit their job and get some money. <laughs> okay. So the first thing in getting rid of your day job is something that my business teacher taught me when I graduated from Rutgers and I've used ever since. Get a job where you control the dynamics of your schedule. Do it now. Figure it out. Is it an online business? Is it reading and proofreading for a law firm at night? What is a job that could be completely within your control? And I always suggest do something in the industry, right? I learned how to produce movies and plays, right? I work for Simon Says Entertainment as a director of development. We have produced Night Catches Us, Gun Hill Road, Mother of George, um, and Blue Caprice, right? It was founded by an actor, Ron Simons. We were both actors that got tired of sitting around complaining, and we said, fuck this. We're gonna make our own work. Produce other people's great work, act in it, and the rest will come. And the minute we started doing that, people started offering us roles in other projects. Right. The minute I started writing my own scripts and getting produced, right, because I've been acting and doing a good job for people for a long time. And when I said I want to write, people were like, oh, I love you as an actor. Come on, come and do your play over here. And that's how I got my first play produced in the New York Theater Workshop. Right. I put out into the universe what I wanted to do and I focused on that one thing. Right. And then I got a safety job that gave me the freedom to focus on that thing right? Teaching what I already knew, honoring that I knew some stuff because the goals I was setting were happening, right? So teaching was a natural transformation for me from my own private business, that and writing. So I stay in the industry, I create more work for myself, and I have the flexibility to be a full-time artist, right? See, all those things, writer, actor, producer, are connected to each other. Right? Because the new model with the internet is that you don't have to get worried, wait to get a job from somebody else. You can do it yourself. Right? And you learn how to make money in one of those things. That's a goal. Learn how to make enough money to get your acting career up to par so that it's ready for TV and film. It's a couple of rounds. I did a Kickstarter to produce one of my plays. That taught me so much about raising money. That you need a nice chunk of money to get started. You need a nice stable place to live in, right? You have to get all of those problems out of the way that will get in the way of you not being able to be a TV and film actor. And you, you gotta start looking like a million dollars. That costs money, right? So you can fundraise. You can ask all the people who wanna support you. If everybody you knew gave you $10, voila. To get your accurate, say, I need to get ready for pilot season. I need representation. And if you're gonna get representation or you're gonna build relationships with casting directors, when you see those people and when you target them and you're in their presence, you gotta look like somebody who's already on TV. Your work has got to feel like that. That costs money. So if you're not ready to find some money to make this happen, you can stop listening to the video now. 
because this is about people who are ready to make it happen, right? Money can never stand in the way because here's the deal, right? I like my little natural ball head. I have natural hair under here. I want to work in TV and film. So I got a custom made wig that cost money I didn't have. But you know what? One job, one job pays for the wig. Pays for the wig and three months rent. Done. So I got to look like a million dollars. I had to spend some money to look like, I had to spend thousands of dollars to look like somebody you should pay thousands of dollars by giving them a job in TV and film. That's completely within my control. Hustle, work three jobs, take three months and concentrate on raising that chunk of money. Don't do anything else. And figure out how you can create a job within the industry that will one, create more visibility for you, that will create income for you, that is related to you being an actor and will get you closer to your goal. Most of the time, it's self-producing, even if it's a short, right? That's the first thing. The second thing is give people a place to discover you, right? Everybody's like, I want to get an agent. I want to get a manager. Who? Have you researched them in town? Here's another tip. Go to IMDb, type in the name of the agent or the manager. Their name will come up in a list and every single one of their clients will come up. And what the star meter of every single one of their clients is will come up. You should already be a member of IMDb Pro. It's $125 a year. I already know you're not serious if this is something you haven't done. Any old agent. People complain about their agents constantly. Did you research them before you signed with them? Did you see who they represented? Did you see what the star meters of the people they represented look like? Then if you didn't, then you don't get to complain about them not sending you out. Because the client list will tell you what their ability is to get you into TV and film. Right? If most of their clients are not working in TV and film, you shouldn't be signing with them. You shouldn't be taking class with them. Right. The way to find out to research an agent is not to ask somebody who signed with them. That's another clueless artist who hasn't thought about the business either. <laughs> the way to find out if this is somebody that can move you to TV and film and whether it's worth really focusing on them is to go and search for them in IMDb Pro and see what their client list, look, client list looks like. Because if they have a client list, not megastars, then they won't have time to work with you. If they have a client list full of people who constantly work in TV and film, that means that that agent or that manager has relationships with every single casting director and every single network executive that works on the show that their client is in. That's how they got the job. So look in that client list for people who work all over TV and film. That means that manager has solid relationships with those casting directors and then can use those relationships to get you into auditions. It's exactly what my manager does, right? I had to look like a million dollars. I had to write a solo show to get the attention of hotshot managers and agents. And I did it. I didn't know how to write, but that was the strategy. Taking classes with casting directors, that works too. I just created readings for myself and invited casting people and agents and managers that I really wanted to work with. And I kept doing readings. I gave them some place to see me. I got a kick-ass reel, even if you have to make one. If you go onto my web presence, I'm all over, all over the internet. I am projecting that I am a working artist. I mean, now I am, but I was projecting that I was a working artist when I wasn't, right? I gave casting people a place to find me. They could find me online by just hiccuping. Type in April Yvette, and before you can finish Thompson, all my pictures come up, all my projects, all my reviews, and my website. With everything you need to know to give me a job on one page, you ain't got to search. You type AprilEvetteThompson.com, you get a headshot, real resume, contact information, done. Quick and easy, think tweet. If I gotta pay attention too much on a page to find out how to give you a job, I'm moving on right? As a casting director, an agent, or a manager, right? You got 30 seconds to weigh in. You need to look like a rock star all the time. You need to spend the money. So if money is an issue, stop watching. This class ain't for you. This is for people who are at fuck this. I'm going to do this shit by any means necessary. I am going to get an agent and a manager. And if you really want to work consistently in TV and film, I have to tell you, you need both. If you're in LA, without a doubt, you need both an agent and a manager. 
In New York, if you've got a bunch of theater credits and not a lot of TV credits and you're trying to make that move into film and TV, you need an agent and a powerful manager. You need a team. How do you get a team? You already got to look and feel and sound like a movie star. That's what this class, how to move into film and TV and quit your job in 12 months and make a living as a full-time artist is all about. And it's only for those who are truly, truly ready. Right? Truly, plain and simple. You got to be it, fuck this. So I'm giving you a bunch of strategies here to get it moving, right? Give somebody a place to find you. Target the folks that you need to get into a room or to look at your press kit by doing research on them. You can also target the television shows that you need to be on and make sure you create a reel that has scenes from the television shows that you want to be on, right? Look like a movie star. From your press, to your online presence, to your in-person presence, you need to look like the people on the TV show you want to be on all the time. That's completely within your power. Just those simple things will change the air in the audition room if you handle those simple things right now. It will change the air. It will scream, I am a badass actor. I will bring it in one take. If you can't say that, then you need to make a list of the things that you need to do so that you can. Because people read that and they give you the job. Right? Right? Set a simple goal for yourself that will force you to focus. My goal was, after running from a day job and then all these auditions that I wasn't getting and running ragged was, I don't get out of bed for less than $3,000. Now, did I accomplish that the first couple of years I set up that goal? No. But because I set the goal, I finally got there. I finally got the kinds of jobs that would pay me $3,000. If not for the day in residuals or health insurance. I count those numbers too, right? That's how you make decisions. And when you set a goal like that, it forces you to focus on only jobs that are going to get you closer to your goal. Yeah, that's all I got for you. Look like a movie star. Focus on one thing, figure out what shows you want to be on, make your press kit and your online presence look like that, and research those reps. Because that's how you get into film and TV. All the stuff that I just mentioned is completely within your power. If you haven't done that, stop complaining and figure out how to do that. Love you, mean it. Send me questions, right? I'll answer them in my next video, right? And my next video is actually going to be about the nuts and bolts right of moving into a sustaining kind of living right where you can work full time as an artist how do you create that business how do you create that online presence how do you fundraise that's what we're going to talk about in the next video so stay tuned go to thedreamunlock.com send me your questions post on the blog this video was on the blog you can email us at aprilyvettthompsoncoaching at gmail.com. We will respond with your questions. And if not in the email, we'll respond in the video. If this is on Facebook or Twitter, post in the comments. Reply to this video and ask me your questions. I promise I'll answer. Take care. Stay fierce. Believe in the dream. Because if you don't believe in it, why should anybody else?